I thought they were cute. This little appetizer. TV. So today's video is a long awaited reset. Um, as you guys know, I've been on the go, on the go, on the go constantly. And I haven't had time to really just like deep clean, organize, and clean out my house. It's like reset, but like fall version. But resetting, but getting ready for the fall. I know I love my cardigans and my little pumpkin spices. And I'm like a typical, like, you know the girls who love outside and they love summer and they like, woo, we turn, we got our booty shorts and bikinis and we turned up, we outside. And then you got the girls who are homebodies who like to cook and wear cardigans and boots and just be an old ass lady. I'm the second one if you have not noticed. Like I love me a good like home vibe. Like it's too cold to go outside or like getting chilly. So let's throw something in a crock pot or like it just, fall just gives like cardigan, boots, and being snugged up in the house, maybe baking, maybe cooking, catching up with some good shows, re-watching things onto Halloween, onto the holiday season in general. I love this time of year. I do struggle with a little like seasonal depression, I believe. I think everyone does. So I tend to do a lot of things during this time that make me happy. And so we are starting this fall off right. Let's make sure I'm in the right headspace, in the right groove. I ordered some stuff on Timu, some cardigans, some pajamas, so just a few different things. I'm gonna show y'all what we got and I'm gonna actually wear one of these cardigans to Target because we're finna go to Target. And we're gonna grab like, I really don't have a list. I wanna decorate the house just a little bit i don't want to go crazy i just want to do a little bit right now i'm just gonna do um fall stuff i don't really want to put like halloween things in the house necessarily like i don't really want like cobweb stuff like that in the house right now i never really do i'm okay with fall and then i'm okay with doing christmas i'm not against halloween i just don't really want like that in my house i'm okay with like a few things so i'm gonna just go through target and see what i can find um i'm looking for maybe some fall snacks some pumpkin spice things, some creamers, maybe some certain um, teas or something like that. Maybe a face mask or two, some stuff to put on the counters in the kitchen, maybe a mug. You know, I love me some cups, maybe a little tumbler action. So we'll see. I'm gonna kind of scroll through Target in general. I don't have a list. We're raw dog in Target today. But first, like I said, I wanna show y'all the stuff I got from Timu. Oh. scissors honestly i love when i order stuff and i forget exactly what it is i ordered because then it feels like it was all free and it was all a surprise like i can't explain it something about a sweater and a cardigan and like boots just really gets my rocks off honestly okay so item number one yes this is what I'm talking about. Let's get into it, okay? I usually like to do this little move here. I love this. Let's get cozy. I'll list all the item uh, prices, as you guys can see on the screen. And then I also have the links to everything in the description box in case you're interested. Yes, yes, okay. Item number one. And then let's go to item number two. I love me the fall time, y'all. Okay, this is a two-piece set. Like this. Let me get close so you guys can see the material. It's super soft. This is just a regular set and it has like a split in the side. I can actually insert a screenshot to show you exactly how this one fits. I'm in a rush, like I said, I'm going to Target, so I'm not gonna try every single thing on, but I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I've got. And these are super cute. And cozy looking too. These are just like pants, same material, two piece set. Another cardigan. Alexa, play cardigan by Don Tolliver. I'm finna stand time in it. Uh, uh, oh, I love this one. It's longer. You be on my back. 
talking, call again. I'm in love with your friend. You be the one that they have it And it's long. Into the material. It's fall time, baby. It's fall time, okay? Autumn is here. And then I got this cute little tote. I thought that was cute. I don't know if I'm gonna use this for like an everyday bag or what exactly I'm gonna use it for. It's kind of smaller than I thought it was gonna be, but the material, it's still giving. I wonder if my laptop will fit in here. It's maybe like a little work journal bag. Cute. Bye. You thought I left, didn't you? We're almost done. And then we got, got some crew necks. Ooh, the inside is super duper soft. Cute and cozy. It says New York on it. The back is plain. I told myself I really just needed like tights and like a few hoodies and crew necks for this fall. I also still need some boots. Oh, I don't know. We might be wearing this to Target. Do y'all like this color or the cream color better? I can't really decide. I don't know. I like the cream color better. I think this one's really soft on the inside too. I love the material on the inside. Like... The material is freaking giving. Okay, this one, this one eats. I know I keep saying that, but to me, these are simple, cute outfits. Okay, do you guys know the um, cow slippers that I had from Timu? When I tell you everyone, everyone and their mama compliments me on those slippers. No matter where I go, everyone freaking compliments me on those slippers. So y'all know I had to double it, okay? So I got some more of the slippers. Now these, your toes are actually out. I also got some phone cases. Let me take mine off because I've been wanting a new phone case. This is the one I have on currently, but I honestly been wanting a new phone, but in order to get in moderation of that, I just got a new case. It's like this, I don't know what color you would call this, but it's so cute. Oh yeah, that's cute, I like that. It's like olive green. Okay, that's cute. Super sleek. And it comes with the little uh, grippy, grippy pocket thing too. Just so you guys know, um, Timu does offer a savings up to 90% off on their site-wide sale right now. They also have free shipping and free returns for up to 90 days. And you also get a $5 credit for late delivery. If you order something and the price drops within 30 days, you can request like a partial refund. But no, seriously, make sure you guys download the app. You can use my link or you can not use my link. My link will make it easier for you, but it's whatever. I also got this face roller set, which is basically for like massages, lymphatic drainage, under eye, puffiness. It's like this cute stone color. Super cute. I already have a rose gold one. And it just feels amazing. You just massage, especially when it's cold. It feels so good. So we got that. It's a small ball, the geisha, and this one. And y'all already know I had to get some self care stuff like a haul in a haul without no self care. So I got some vitamin E oil, organic, 100% pure and natural. And then I got these last time, but they were so fire I had to double back. Little lip balms, the miniature Vaseline lip balms, they make my Lips feel so good and moisturized right now. I have castor oil on them, but this like, and these can fit in your pocket. They fit in my work bag at work. They're very small, convenient, and just cute. Anything miniature is cute. And I got a little mini castor oil. I'm probably gonna put this in, our, in my travel bag because it's so small. And I like to take, like I just got back from Miami from getting my teeth done. As you can see, get into the smile. I can't believe I didn't tell y'all that. Yeah. We just got our teeth done, and when I went, I had to pack my big castor oil because I did not have a miniature one, so I ordered me a small one. So from here on out, whenever I have trips or I'm going to my boo's house or something like that, I mean, he has castor oil over there, but if I want to pack one and keep it on my body, I can have this small one right here. And then we also got a gold moisturizing eye mask. I cannot wait to use this. I'll probably use this tonight, honestly. 
that is it so make sure you guys download my link which will be i'll put my code right here on the screen but it'll also be in the description box in case you were not paying attention just now no i'm just playing we're gonna do the long one to target i think this is what i'm feeling that is it for our team will haul i cannot wait to try this stuff out as far as the self-care stuff the iphone case is hella cute i went to with the nude one but hella 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 cute um it is now 626 i wanted to show y'all what i got before i head out because i do not want to forget um i believe Clark target closes at 10 so this is my game plan let me tell y'all what my game plan is we're gonna go to target multi around grab a few things to decorate the house i'm gonna come back and before i even decorate we are going to clean up organize and throw some stuff away like out with the old in with the new type of vibe and then i'm going to show y'all the final product we're going to make some dinner we're gonna sit down, have a nice shower, catch up on a show, and eat our dinner. We're also going to juice because I want to clear out. And I'm focusing on utilizing the stuff in my fridge because I'll be buying shit and I look up and I'm like, damn, I didn't use this, I gotta throw it away. Or I'm buying new stuff without using what I already have. So every now and then I get in these moods where like, I wanna utilize everything I have, like I wanna get my money's worth. So there's some fruit in there, I need to juice before it goes bad. And then I was gonna make like a soup or a chili because what's a fall vlog without some chili, right? But I was like, you know what? That I'm gonna do what I wanna do. I'm gonna make something, I don't know exactly what, but out of things I already have, and we're gonna figure it out together. I'm gonna make some type of protein taco or bowl or something, I don't know exactly, but I have a few ingredients in there that I'm kinda gonna just throw together and make it do what it do. Those meals will be the best, okay? Not too much thought, just kinda having fun, relaxing, whipping it up. So that's what we're gonna do. I love my cardigan, I'm feeling very fall-ish. I feel pretty. Love my new case. I'm not sure what shoes I'm going to wear. I'm probably gonna just wear my Sperry's with no socks, but I'm excited for this. I'm excited to come back and clean and get everything together. Um, there's the ass beach. Anyway, let's go to Target. My crew, let's go. When we get into this Target, don't ask me for nothing. Don't touch nothing. You got food when we get back home. Don't be begging for nothing. None of that, okay? We in and out. Don't run off too far from me. Stay by my side. And when you hear me say, my crew, let's go, that means my crew, let's go, okay? Thank you. Now let's go. Binti ice pumpkin cream chai tea latte. Okay, you guys. So I am in like the home decor section. We got our iced pumpkin spice macchiato something. Definitely gonna need some energy because I'm gonna be up late tonight. I think I want some orange pillows, maybe an orange rub. I'll do some skull and some pumpkin things. My candles I usually get from Dossier, but they don't offer any like pumpkin candles. They're more of a luxury fragrances and I do want to get into the fall. So I do want to find at least one or two like pumpkin or apple cinnamon crisp-ish type of candles. And then we'll go from there. So yeah, but I see some pillows and some throws. So let's head over there and check that out. And then we'll come to the candles. If you cannot tell, I'm getting nervous but it's Target, so like, there's other human beings here. So yeah, there's that. But we still gonna do this, okay? dollars 
it wasn't that cute. It's cute, but like, is this $20 cute? I'm gonna think on this one because don't, Target, don't look at my room, okay? So I like this, but I don't like the blue that's in it. Like, I like it in general, but the blue is just throwing me for a loop. Okay, so I got some of the mini candles, and I really wanted that floor mat rug type thing, but something about it just wasn't doing it for me. This throw would be cute in the bedroom, and it's orange. That would be really cute. Pretty much just getting all orange and pumpkin things, to be honest. Is that like the fall cheat code? or what because that's a thousand percent what i'm doing right now and honestly i feel like my house already has like a cozy like fall vibe because it's all brown tan and white so i feel like i need to add the orange that's the only thing that's really missing okay so i'm not having much of luck with the orange pillow situation so do you guys think i should leave everything white and just do the orange rug on the bed or should i still like get on amazon and order the orange pillowcases to just put in between the white pillows in the bedroom i hope i'm making sense does it sound like i'm rambling are you guys picking up what i'm putting down because my dilemma in the bedroom is i want some orange pillows in there i can't find cases or the pillow itself so i don't know what the answer is to that what do y'all think oh this would be cute in the kitchen there's a kitchen mat hold on i think i may have found a cute kitchen mat it's the last one i don't know if it's for the kitchen but it would be cute as a kitchen mat i'm gonna use it for the kitchen cute Okay, the last few things I'm gonna look at is gonna be um, the cups, like coffee cups. And probably, I probably want like a mug or two for coffee. I got an appetizer plate, like a Halloween appetizer plate, but I kind of want one more coffee thing. Like this is cute. But so is this. And so is this. I'll probably get two of these. The fact that I can't come here without getting a cup is really annoying. Cause like, why? I feel like this one's really cute though. He likes orange. I'll probably get him this one. I feel like he likes the cup, the thermos cups. So there's that. No, that means it's time to go. I'm dropping stuff, it's time to go y'all. Okay, I'm about to get some snacks and leave. Because I feel like this basket is getting a little too heavy. This is what happens when you don't have a list. Don't go to Target without a list, okay? Because when you come to Target and you're just vibing, you get to vibing a little too hard. And then you look up and you got to pay like $300, $400. like 9 30 or something like that i need some lip balm real quick i didn't get many snacks at target because i was just too tired make me smith make me uh, i don't know how to do that dance y'all but anyway so at home the house is a mess okay so we're gonna clean up put my little house shoes on oh these are so comfortable okay anyways we're gonna clean up and declutter first i'm gonna start with some laundry and just take it one room at a time and clean up and declutter how many times am i gonna fucking repeat myself but anyways we're gonna do that and then once we're done doing that we're going to go ahead and set out the stuff from fall from the fall target shopping spree we just did so 
do y'all uh, be seeing the TikToks about like girl math where like it's math in our head that makes sense so for example i just spent like i gotta look at the receipt but about 400 dollars in target but yesterday my man sent me 300 dollars, so i feel like my target run was 100 dollars, and the rest of it was free girl man you know what i mean like in my head that makes sense like and then he cash app it to me and you know it's cash app it take a few days to hit your account so like i feel like i really only spent a hundred dollars even though i spent like four hundred dollars but once that three hundred dollars hit from the cash app i basically only sent, spent a hundred yeah i spent too much money at target today but self-care it's whatever my house is about to be super cozy super halloween fall and y'all i'm funny because i said i'm not gonna get no halloween stuff and i literally got some halloween stuff but it's all super cute but we are about to like do what i call a crackhead which is where you clean the house real fast real quick and the last thing i'm gonna do like the absolute very last thing i'm gonna do is mop i'll say that for the very end but i don't even know if y'all will catch that because i'm gonna do that right before bed um i'm still working on my coffee honestly this is an iced pumpkin spice chai tea latte um but i'm not impressed no it's a macchiato i'm not impressed with this like it's good but it's not giving like hella pumpkin i feel like i should have got something else i don't know let's start cleaning break real quick i'm watching chelsea right now on the big screen and when y'all be telling me like oh i'm watching you while i'm cleaning up or i'm watching damn it i'm watching you while i do this or i'm watching you while i do that it means so much because i have people that i watch whenever i'm doing my thing so this is chelsea's trip to cancun her and dion went and it looks like so much fun i just got back from miami so I know the vacation vibes, but mine wasn't really a vacation. It was more so like, mine wasn't really vacation. It was more so like getting my teeth done. I wasn't really kicking it, you know what I mean? But seeing her on vacation is getting me in a better mood, honestly. She in the pool, be kicking it. But um, I just did the kitchen, started laundry. I'm about to move to my room and bedroom. And we just gonna pretty much rotate laundry throughout the whole thing. But I say all that to say, this whole break right now is just me thanking y'all when y'all comment and let me know like, hey, I'm watching you while I cook breakfast or I'm watching you while I'm on break at work or I'm watching you while I do this, watching you while I do that. Like I have people that I like to watch when I do stuff too. So the fact that I'm that person to y'all is tight as fuck. Now back to cleaning.
morning I'm just now done cleaning I haven't mopped I haven't vacuumed but I'm pretty much done I do the floors last like I already explained I have this stuff soaking in the sink but I can just wash that out that noise you hear is the sheets being done so we're about to lay out the stuff we got from Target I don't really have like a super crazy game plan I'm just going to put stuff where it looks cute get all this out and then i'll come back and show you guys everything all right y'all first things first we did get three three pillows i haven't straightened this stuff up yet i just laid it out i'm about to straighten it up um we got some little pumpkin things here two big candles some kitchen towels that are like an orangish color more pumpkin and then three of these i thought they were just all so cute for some tea and then these are like little mini candles cute cute i don't know what i'm gonna use this for but we're gonna use it for something okay pure pumpkin and then we got some organic apple cider these cute little coasters i thought they were cute this little appetizer tray plate whatever you want to call it this little thing here and then some cups i love this color to me it was given fall this is for him this is for me i like mine to be able to sip and i usually stick a straw through there like a small straw but i love these i keep them bedside and then i also got two little rug things i don't know exactly where i'm gonna put it i know i want one in the kitchen i'm gonna put this either on my couch or on my bed i'm thinking on my bed i'm gonna lay like the remote a candle and maybe like a snack right there and then i got this throw for my bed too so i thought i got more shit than this apparently i didn't i don't know how this is over 300 dollars, but it is oh and then i also got um this something stinks in here i don't know what it is it smells like garlic but yeah that's what we got so i'm about to set everything up and then i will come back to you guys because the sheets are ready to be taken out the dryer so i'm gonna take those out make the bed put the towels up and then put this stuff in different places and then show you guys when the house is completely done um, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I wanted to incorporate quite a bit of cooking in this and it's getting late. I'm not feeling 100% my best. So I think what I'm gonna do is decorate the house up and show you guys. And then tomorrow what I can do is show you what I have for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We'll just, I'll just cook all day with you guys tomorrow um, to make up for not doing it today. Cause your girl is tired, okay? Like it doesn't even make any sense. So like I said, I'm gonna make the bed get the house together and then I will come back and show you guys the final touches. so i'm finally done the house is clean the only thing i have to do is put this rug under here and then put my normal rugs that i have in the kitchen in the bathroom in like the closet since i have these pumpkin rugs out i am so freaking exhausted i'm so freaking tired 
I'm about to really just lay down. And tomorrow, y'all, I promise y'all are gonna be with me for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, okay? I don't know if I'm gonna eat three times a day, but I know every time that I get hungry, I'm going to cook. You guys are gonna be in this kitchen whipping up with me, okay? Anyways, I'm tired as hell. If you are worried about my eye because it's red, don't worry about it. I got my lashes done and I'm tired, okay? That's Everybody always think I'm high. I'm not high. I'm just fucking exhausted, okay? But I'm about to go to sleep. I'll see you guys in the morning when it's time for breakfast or lunch probably because I'm probably going to sleep in. So I'll probably see y'all when it's time for lunch. Good night. some reason everybody always asks when I don't actually put it in the comments or nothing so let me go ahead and say it now those uh, pumpkin protein pancakes is what we made this morning for breakfast and they were so freaking bomb okay I didn't even have any syrup they didn't need syrup I didn't have any syrup I used some natural honey I just drizzled a little natural honey over them and a little bit of powdered sugar. The powdered sugar was really for aesthetics. I typically don't eat powdered sugar on my pancakes, especially maybe French toast, but not pancakes. Let me tell you what was in the pancakes. Pumpkin protein pancakes, okay? Anyway, our pancakes had protein powder, like that you would make a protein shake with. They had pumpkin pure pumpkin that can of pumpkin that i got last night from target i didn't even know what i was gonna use that for but this morning i was like i'm making breakfast with y'all i'm cooking with y'all all day let me go ahead and use the pumpkin why not make some fall pancakes so i put one can one full can of it as you guys see it made one two three four almost 10 pancakes see it made nine i saved some um to have maybe after work or 
for breakfast this weekend or something like that. I can just warm up in the microwave. They're very filling. But anyways, I put protein powder, one scoop of protein powder, a full can of a uh, real pumpkin if you want to carve out a pumpkin and cook it and do it you can i wasn't doing that so i put a can of it in there um instead of water because on the in the pancake mix it'll suggest water i think um i used creamer i used a zero sugar creamer it was two different kinds one of them was a caramel macchiato one and the other one was a pumpkin pumpkin latte flavored the, the pumpkin creamer that we got last night from target i used that instead of water or milk I used a little bit of vanilla almond milk as well. And then I put like maybe four scoops of the pancake powder. I, I put a lot of pancake powder because I really should have only used half a can of the pumpkin. But because I used the whole can, I had to use way more of the pancake powder to make more, you know? So yeah, what else did we put in there? I think that was it. We mixed her up. I usually drop vanilla extract in my regular pancakes, but I didn't because I already knew this was gonna be sweet because I used the pumpkin and all the creamers and stuff. So I didn't even use that. Whipped it up, sprayed my little uh, breakfast skillet with olive oil. My breakfast skillet right here. Sprayed that with olive oil and just dropped them on there. Um, and cooked them for about five minutes on each side and they were done and they were so good. They were crispy around the edges. The batter, the texture of the batter was in between like a pancake and a cake. It was so good and I just did a little bit of powdered sugar for the aesthetic and then drizzled some real honey on there and caught it a day. I would also like to try it where I melt some peanut butter and maybe like some type of nut and drizzle that over it to even add more protein. And then the egg medley was just spinach, cherry tomatoes, onion powder, jalapeno, and eggs. I dropped about five eggs, scrambled them, and that was it. And that breakfast was so delicious, so cozy. It started raining. That breakfast in bed and just took a nap after that. But it is six now. I'm about to run down and get my packages and check the mail. And then I'm gonna come back up. I have a meeting at like seven. And then later tonight at like nine or 10, we are gonna have dinner together. We as in you and I, we're gonna make some type of little bowl after out of food that we already have here. And yeah, that's gonna be the vibe. I ordered a uh, pizza and pasta last night at like 3 a.m. It was whatever. I could have did without it. It was cool. It was actually a calazon, not pizza. It was okay. It wasn't really all that, but yeah. I'm gonna straighten up this kitchen from breakfast. It's not too bad, but it's just a little bit. Probably have me some coconut water, run down, grab my package and stuff. And then later we are going to juice. I'm gonna make a beet and juice watermelon. And then we're gonna make dinner too. So yeah, honey, we kicking it, period. Anyway, I'll see y'all later. right now this is gonna be a women's wellness juice y'all be asking me in the comments like give me a juice recipe a good juice recipe if you deal with um if you deal with hormonal imbalances endometriosis pcos inflammation um if your ph is feel like it's not completely right but you don't have no stds all that stuff this is like a women's wellness juice that i'm making it consists of two limes, two apples, a full pineapple, and then beet root. I'm also going to add some turmeric powder in there if you want to. And here's our beet root. If you are wanting to go get the actual turmeric root, you can do that. That's obviously more fresh and more potent, but turmeric powder works just fine. Um, so yeah, we are going to put this in here. Uh, do not throw away your pineapple shavings. Boil them your pineapple shaving, your pineapple skin, boil them on the skillet in some water and you have yourself a detox tea. Add some cinnamon. I'm glitching hard as fuck right now. Add some cinnamon and 
your favorite like maybe raspberry tea or green tea or whatever and you got yourself a detox tea so i don't throw away my pulp as you guys saw earlier we make smoothies with our pulp i think earlier i used frozen strawberries and frozen blueberries but i have bags i can show you i'm gonna show you two different kinds so i have the sandwich bags this is full of pulp so this was a juice I made at one point, kept the pulp. This is a size small bag and this will make about two full size smoothies. And then we have our green mixture, which this was like spinach, cucumber, kale, um, different green things that I put together and juiced and I made it flat so that I can break it on the ground like ice and just, so don't throw your stuff away. This right here, you wanna keep it, this is good, okay? And this stuff is expensive, so you want to get as much use out of it as you can. You see how quiet the juicer is? I have these carafts that I got off of Amazon, and the juice we've made so far, I'm just going to pour in here. I'm only going to do halfway because I want to add the beet juice in there to make sure the recipe is exactly how it's supposed to be. I'm gonna make two batches. I will tell you this, there's no wrong way of juicing. Okay, let's mix this. There we go. So we're gonna make two batches. There's no necessarily wrong way of juicing, but you do wanna do your research and see what goes well with what, because I've heard people saying like, certain fruits shouldn't go with certain vegetables and things like that. Me personally, I have never experienced any negative side effects from juicing, all positive. Even when I mix my spinach with my cucumber, like mix things together, I personally haven't experienced anything bad with it. But like I said, do your own research. This juicer is a Nama J, Nama Wellness J2 juicer. So if you go to namawellness.com, this is the J2. Um, they offer a firm where you pay it in payments, which is what I did, so that I didn't have to pay it all up front because it is expensive. But it's super quiet it's super easy to put together it's like three pieces total and i absolutely this is one of the best purchases i've ever made in my entire life is having this juicer so yeah and then let me show you guys how it comes out even though i already showed you i will show you again when i tell y'all i love this juicer when i tell y'all i love this juicer i mean like I don't think this is beets because beets is you will bag our pulp up i'm gonna put it in a big one because i'm feeling lazy tonight so i'm putting in a big one yeah i don't know if that was beets or not because beets are usually like way way darker but it did have some pineapple juice in there left over so let's pour the rest of our juice in here i really can just pour it all in here and then let me show y'all how easy this is to break down Take this whole thing off. That comes off. The lid comes off. This blade comes out. And that comes out. Two pieces. Just like that. And then like I said, we put our, our shaving, our pulp in here. Get the air out. And then I spread it out because when you when you make the big bags like this, it's better if it's thin so that you can break it. Spread it out thin and put it right in the freezer. Boom, bitch. Now I'm gonna take my new cup, a little bit of ice. Just a little bit. I'm gonna pour some of this one. And then I'm gonna pour a lot of this one. This one's all pineapple. Oh, she looks good. She looks good. I'm gonna wash them in. I'm gonna wash them in a minute. And then, like I said, my turmeric powder. Sometimes I do use 
the root. You toss that in there like that. And then it's actually time for me to do my minerals and supplements for the evening, which is our L-carnitine and our obacitol, however you pronounce it, this. Dump a scoop of that. One scoop of this. And y'all, I really feel bad because I was supposed to make dinner, but I do not feel like it. My meeting ran over a little bit longer than expected, which is no problem at all because that meeting needed to happen. We were kind of behind on some things, so that meeting needed to happen. For those of you that don't know, me and my mom own our own business where we like invest in property, Airbnb and Verbo and stuff like that. And yeah, we had a meeting just now and it's a long awaited meeting. So it ran over a little bit, but I just don't feel like cooking right now, honestly. So we got all of our stuff in there. I mix it up just a little bit. I like to use a straw. I have to use a straw, but like backwards. So let's taste it. I'm not just saying this. This is better than any. Any juice I'll be buying at the store. I don't buy juice. I don't drink juice. I don't drink soda. Making your own juice hits different, okay? This tastes like a healthy, like, cherry limeade is what it's giving because I got the lime in there, but the sweetness from the apples. And then the pineapple is sweet, but it's kind of acidic. And then the beets, whatever that was, beetroot. I just, I don't know. It's giving, that's exactly what I needed. I think I'm gonna boil my pineapple skins. And I'm not hungry, so I don't really want to force myself to eat. Last thing I'm gonna make is some tea. But cheers! You do not have to go get the Nama uh, juicer. The juicer I had before that was Amazon. I just used it too often and it, the motor went out on it twice because I was using it too much. And I don't like cutting my stuff up real small. Y'all see, I cut the apple in half. I didn't even need to do that. I've thrown whole apples in the Nama J2 and it blends it right on up. Like it can handle anything. Like I probably could have just took the skin off the pineapple and put the whole thing in there. Was I gonna do that? No. Cause if the motor blows on the Nama J2, I'm gonna real life cry. So that's why I still cut it up, but I don't have to cut it small. Other juices I've had, you have to cut the stuff real small and it doesn't get as much juice out of the fruit. So I feel like I'm not really getting my money's worth. With this, it's getting everything out of it. Like every last drop of juice, the pulp be so dry. Besides like watermelon and pineapple because those are so juicy, but and cucumber. But the rest be like hella dry. Sorry I didn't make dinner. I'm sleepy. But I hope you guys enjoyed resetting for the fall. Decorating the house. Making our protein pumpkin pancake. I picked up some um, pumpkin, pie, pumpkin spice cinnamon rolls that I'm going to try. They looked pretty good. So I said, why not? But I hope you guys enjoyed resetting with me for the fall. I'm super excited. I'm doing Vlogtober. On days where I don't post, I'm gonna go live. So if you haven't already, please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and make sure your notification bell is on so that if you miss a video, at least you'll be notified whenever I go live. Cause our lives be lit. The lives be lit, I ain't gonna lie. Ask your homegirl, she'll tell you the lives be lit. But that is it for this video and I will see y'all in the next episode of Lip Balm Kiss TV.